It's great to have you with us. While some of us can't wait to head back overseas on a holiday, many Aussies are opting to spend more time exploring their own backyard. Why and you? why not? Exactly. So today we're revealing the best travel trends and most in-demand activities for 2022 right here down under. Chris Iyer from Lonely Planet joins us live in Melbourne. Chris, good morning to you. The last two years has been a big good shift morning. towards holidaying at home. We all know that because we really don't have a choice. No. <laughs> but is that trend here to stay? Have we sort of discovered just what we've got to offer down here? Yeah, absolutely. And I think there's a few people that are going to be plane phobic. So what we're really mm. looking at is um, getting into the great outdoors. So, And we are absolutely blessed with some of the most premier outdoor experiences here in Australia. Um, and this might be the year um, to pop onto your list somewhere like uh, Lord Howe Island, mm. which is this incredible only island off of New South Wales, only offers 400 visitors at a time, incredible snorkelling, uh, the southernmost coral reef, walking, absolutely gorgeous. If you've never done a multi-day walk before, maybe this is the year to do that. And um, on the Tasman Peninsula down in Tasmania, there's the incredible Three Capes Track, uh, which is one of the most accessible uh, multi-day walks you can do in Australia. And other places like Kangaroo Island, going over in South Australia, going through incredible regeneration mm. at the moment. So you can kind of see that firsthand and very welcoming of travellers, very wanting, uh, wanting travellers to come and experience it. And then you've got mainstays like places like the Grampians in Victoria, just waiting to be rediscovered. We've just got an abundance of joys, you know, in Australia. We had our honeymoon. At yeah. the Grampians? Uh, no, Lord Howe Island. Oh, okay. uh, can I just say it is a very, very special yeah. place. Yeah. But don't, t <laughs> don't tell too many people. Yeah. Else. 400 is still pretty exclusive, though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, what about those who can't get time off work? Where can we go on the weekends? Yeah, again, this is another thing about those people that might be a little bit plane phobic and not wanting to kind of jump on a plane. We're going to be shooting out and doing more long weekends over the course of 2022. So if we look at some of the capital cities and where we can go to from there, Sydney siders won't be surprised by this, but the incredible coastal community of Port Stephens, which is roughly around two and a half hours north um, of Sydney, is a great place to take the family. I'm um, incredibly welcoming. Definitely need to do the sandboarding on the dunes there with the kids. Um, if you uh, look further afield to to places like Victoria, one of the best coastal drives in the world in the Great Ocean Road. That's mm. begging to be explored by car. Um, 45 minutes from uh, from downtown Adelaide and you've got vines rolling into the sea in the, in the McLaren Vale. Oh, yeah. 70 cellar doors waiting to be explored there. <laughs> so that, that's a little bit like, that's get tempting. me at San Giovese, Ooh. thanks. <laughs> yes, please. Um, and, <laughs> and, then, and then you've got the scenic rim in Queensland, an hour and a half's drive from Brisbane. And I have to say, one one of the most lovely group of, um, of tourism providers you'll meet anywhere in Australia. Very, very welcoming. Um, you've got to check out the camel farm there. Mm. Mm. And of course, buying a caravan seems to be a rising trend among Aussies. I'm sure mm. a few of us have been stuck behind them on the highway, haven't we? <laughs> but I've also noticed some sort of modifications <laughs> to vans because a few people are taking spontaneous road trips, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. So caravan and van life, it's just mm. a huge thing. Um, caravans are at a 30-year um, sale high, wow. which also means Jeez. word of warning here that the demand for caravan parks is going to be really huge as mm. well. So when you think about it, if that's, there's that many caravans being bought, you know, people are going to want to access those, those kind of caravan parks. So these are a little bit more long-haul trips that I'm recommending. So definitely East Coast Australia, you know, starting in the Great Barrier Reef and working your way down to the Great Ocean Road or vice versa, that's a great trip trip. Um, Tasmania was kind of built for van life so there mm. is a really great um, great state to kind of explore by the car. Um, if you, Once the West Australian borders open, if that happens in 2022, <laughs> Perth to the Pilbara on West Coast Australia is another, yeah. another great option. Um, so yeah and also you know you've also got um, other places like Central Australia etc as well. Make sure you have plenty of fuel, plenty of water, check yeah. your tyres, check your oil, all that stuff as we well. We need snacks too, don't forget the you food. You've got to have snacks, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Have diesels, right? <laughs> <laughs> and please convince my wife um, that we should get a motorhome. Can you do that for me? I want a Ooh, motorhome. It's a tough ask. <laughs> it's oh, a yeah, abso sure absolutely. A I'll, 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 send, I'll send her a note, Alex. Send her <laughs> a note. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. <laughs> hey, Chris from Lonely Planet. Thanks so yeah, much. Some seriously good places mm -hmm. to explore there, aren't there? Can't sure wait. Are.